Yep, I'm Mike View, I'm the chairman of the Ex Saints. Well, the Ex Saints are an association of ex players that played for Southampton Football Club. Currently, we have a database of about 450 ex players, right from the oldest up to the, the latest ones at the moment, such as Matt, Franny, and people like that. John Webster, our new president, came along. Um, and reformed the X Saints. Um, we took on a box at the stadium um, and really grew from there. Um, and now we have nearly all the members participating in days like this, the golf day, our football days. We have football games where all the X players partake. Um, even though some of them are getting on a little bit now, they do come on for 10 minutes, which is absolutely great. Um, tremendous atmosphere now um, we have a lot going on um, all the monies we take are is for charity um, it all goes to charity nobody takes a penny out for salaries expenses or anything I'm Matt Letitia uh, originally from Guernsey but now very much in Southampton uh, I was at Southampton assigned as a YTS uh, in 1985 and uh, 17 years later in 2002 I finally retired after 16 years as a professional. So. I'm Franny Benali, uh, I'm most certainly not a golfer given what I've just experienced out on the golf course um, and uh, a former Southampton football club player as well. My name is Neil Razor Ruddock, um, ex Southampton centre half from the late 80s, early 90s. I live in Ashford in Kent. My name is Tommy Widrington, I played for Southampton between 1988 and 1996. I'm here supporting the ex Saints golf day. My name is Nicky Banger, I played for Southampton, made my debut in 1990 when I was uh, 19. I joined the Saints when I was 12 and um, scored a hat trick on my debut with Alan Shearer and then. Uh, I left Southampton when I was about 23 and was sold for 350,000 to Oldham. My name's Jimmy Kate and um, I used to play for Southampton. Uh, I joined them in around about 1984. Um, I left in 1990 when Ian Bramford came into the club. Um, for me, it was an exceptional time for me because uh, I was on a, well, I was of a certain age when I joined the club, 30, never finished till I was about 38, 39 and to play with such young players like Sir Alan Shearer coming through, played in his debut, Matt Letizia's, Fanny Benali, Jason Dodd, right the way through the cards, Neil Ruddock was playing, Mark Wright, all great players, Tim, Tim Flowers in goal, so I had a tremendous side uh, in terms of, I was an older player obviously, but you know I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, I got involved because I was um, basically, uh, I had a business in Southampton um, and I've been a supporter ever since I was knee high um, and I knew players and uh, funny enough John Sidman who now is in Australia who was a, a very very well known player in his day, he and I went to school together and we've stayed friends ever since so I've always been involved in football with John. Um, and then they were looking for new directors, um, people involved in business and players to form a new uh, board um, and I was invited to join the board uh, and I really progressed from there. I'm, I'm now the chairman and uh, I sort of look after all the players, all the functions, organise everything um, and the day-to-day -day running on it. Uh, well, we used to go, uh, when I was still playing, we used to support the functions that the, the guys had put on back then. Um, so we, we had a good relationship with them already. Uh, and then when I retired um, and I was asked to, to join if I joined the board, um, that was a no-brainer for me. I was more than happy to get involved and uh, try and raise a few quid for, uh, for a, a few people that are less fortunate than ourselves. Um, and it's, it's been fun doing it. Uh, I, I suppose it's almost a, a little bit of a natural progression. Um, it's uh, obviously sort of living in Southampton still and sort of being part of and supporting the ex-Saints and being aware of who they are and what they did whilst I was a, a current player. Um, you know, knew a number of the guys that were on the board and people involved with the ex-Saints before I retired from playing. So once I did finish my playing career, 
it was almost a little bit of a natural step to get involved with them a little bit more. Um, and I've since sort of came onto the board of the X Saints with a lot of the other guys and, and helped sort of you know, push events like today um, and, and raise funds for, for worthy causes. Again, that's a bit of a natural progression. That I think if you look around here, yeah, there's there's probably 15 or 16 lads here today who we almost all played together actually, from Glenn Cochran, Jimmy Case at the high end of that, and Russell Osman, to myself, Nicky Banger, Neil Madison, Neil Ruddock, and then Matt Letizia, and Francis Benali. So we, there's a real good um, mixture of guys here. Yeah. And then on top of that, you've got people like Huey Fisher uh, and Jim Steele and Manny, Ruben Agbula, who were a little bit before us. But you know, we, we don't see each other on a weekly basis but when we do we get together and it's a it's a really good occasion we get on well the different eras mix together very well and it's as if we'd seen each other last weekend really and the reason why i love supporting so much is uh does so much fantastic work for the local community and local charity and yet um i just wish sometimes uh the ex-saints and uh and, and and people in southampton spread the word a lot more about what they do they bought a two thousand pound wheelchair for my daughter and I'll be forever grateful and, and, and with that I like to support local local uh, charities and communities as well. Yeah. Well I, I think it's just um, obviously it's, a, it's an association or a society, whatever you want to call it, is, is um, if you've played for Southampton Football Club you are an, an ex-Saint footballer, that's what it's all about and I think over the years uh, it goes back, uh, nearly all clubs have it, if you, you could have a uh, I, I'm involved in Liverpool Football Club, the Ex Players Association, things like that. But, but, but again, this one is, is obviously close because I live in Chandler's Fort and uh, obviously the club itself. Um, and the Ex Saints, they, they go and do charity football matches, if you like, charity golf days, things like that. And it's a, it's a chance to meet up. I've just met somebody today, Glenn Cockrell, and the likes of uh, Neil Ruddock and things like that. I haven't seen for a long time and it's nice that the, you know you just come together like that and uh, obviously the main aim along the way is obviously the funds that's raised for certain charities in and around Southampton.